Alright guys, uh, I just wanted to address a little issue that I found a solution for, and I thought maybe you might be interested in it. Um, so if you have an iPod Classic like this one, which I just purchased about two weeks ago, um, you might notice that if you go into your cover flow, like I am right now, that it's not matching up with your iTunes library, which is up here. You see all these at the end, like my Rihanna album, are at the end of Coverflow when they should be in with the artists. Now this happens because when you import an album like I did with uh, Rihanna over here, there she go. Let's see, where's Rihanna? Da -da 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 -da. Okay, like what I did with Rihanna here, uh, when you import a CD, which I did, this is the Rihanna CD, uh, when you import that, what it does is it marks the album as a compilation, or something like that, I don't know if I'm saying that right. But what you have to go do to fix this problem and get your artwork on your iPod uh, back in order is you go into uh, your iTunes, so I'm just going to type in the title of the album in the search up here. Alright, so here it is here. And what you want to do is highlight all the songs on that album. Okay, see they're highlighted. And then you just want to right click. And then you want to hit Get Info. Right here. Okay. Now go over to the tab that says Options. You move over here to where it says Part of a Compilation. This word right here and just hit no. Okay. Hit okay. It'll rewrite your ID3 tags. Do -do 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 -do. Okay. So now, to make sure this works, we're going to resync your iPod. So as you can see, it's still, this is where it is on my iPod, and you can see here, it's in between uh, the first run album and the second one. So, on my iPod, it's not, as you can see, it's sort of out of the way. You see, there's the second one, there's the first one. So, it should be right in between those two. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to sync my iPod up and see if that fixes the problem. That. Put this down real quick. Okay, so we got it synced up here. Connected. Okay. So let's see if that works. Takes a minute to recognize. There we go. Okay, so now what we're going to do is I'm just going to go down here and hit sync. It shouldn't take too long because all I'm doing is changing that one little album. Here's syncing. in iTunes, and then just go ahead and disconnect your iPod from the computer, reject it, um, what they say, right, so now it says it's okay to disconnect, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to pull the plug out here, if I could get it out, there we go. Let it load up. Oh, text. Okay, so now we're just going to go back into music, cover flow, and as you can see now, it's right in between the two albums like it's supposed to be. So now all, you gotta, all I have to do is I'm just going to have to go into iTunes and then just make sure that I uh, fix these ones here at the end. And that'll do it. So if, you won't, if you're like me and you're like obsessive about your cover art uh, in Coverflow um, and you want it all in order, because I know it's annoying when I'm looking for a Rihanna album and I go into my R's and she's all the way back here, you know. Uh, so if you want your cover art all worked out, that's what you do. So you just go into iTunes and 
highlight all the songs, select them, go into options, and then um, make sure that it's not marked as a compila comp compilation, that's what I think it's called. Make sure it's not marked as that, and uh, it should work perfectly on your iPod because they put the compilations on the end. And this uh, problem mostly happens when you're importing a CD. Uh, if you download it from the iTunes store, it most likely won't do that. So thanks for watching, and I hope this solves your problem.